God bless everyone. Today is Zechariah intro, Thursday, January 25th, 2024. Last we read Haggai 2, and it talked about the promised glory of the new house, blessings for a defiled people, and Zerubbabel, the Lord's signet ring. Introduction to Zechariah. The prophet Zechariah brought his messages to the returned exiles of Judah beginning in the second year of King Darius of Persia, 520 BC. The book has two main parts. The first contains two sequences of prophecies primarily in the form of symbolic vision reports. <clears throat> the second main part is made up mostly of poetic oracles concerning or concerned with the nation's leaders. After a general call to repentance, Zechariah records a series of eight visions to encourage the people in rebuilding the temple. The first and last describe four differently colored horses and their riders sent over the earth. The second and third visions show that hostile foreign powers no longer threaten the country. The sixth and seventh visions report the removal of the people's sins. The two central visions depict God establishing Joshua the high priest, and Zerubbabel, the governor. The overall message is that God has everything in place for rebuilding the project, for, rebuild, for the rebuilding project. The second sequence of prophecies has six parts. Ever since the disaster of the exile and the temple's destruction, the people had been fasting at certain times of the year, the messages here urge the people to practice justice as the true form of fasting and to focus on rebuilding. Then Zechariah announces that all their fasts will become joyful celebrations. The book's final section predicts that after the people suffer under bad shepherds, God will send a righteous king from David's line. The Lord will triumph over every enemy and be king over the whole earth. <clears throat> Alright, under my likes I highlighted. General call to repentance. Encourage the people in rebuilding the temple. Four differently colored horses and their riders sent over the earth. No longer threaten the or Hostile foreign powers no longer threaten the country. Seven. Removal of the people's sins. God establishing the high priest and the governor. God has everything in place for the rebuilding project. Urge the people to practice justice as the true form of fasting and to focus on rebuilding. Fasts will become joyful celebrations. After the people suffer under bad shepherds, God will send a righteous king. The Lord will triumph over every enemy and be king over the whole earth. Alright, so now we're, now we're on Zechariah. God is good all the time, even when we don't understand. Amen. <clears throat> 